Hi everyone, uh, I've gotten a number of comments from people who seem to think that 2011 was the top of the gold bubble akin to 1980 or 1934 and um, I have uh, some evidence to show why that is not the case. Uh, so the basis for the Dow to gold ratio uh, moving the way it does um, is what's called the Elliott wave um, cycle theory. So the theory is that um, right now there are 7 billion people in the world and everybody has a general pattern. They, they accumulate wealth and then they retire and they spend it down. And, and when you add 700, well, 7 billion waves together, uh, you have these cycles that are roughly one lifespan um, in length and um, aggregated together. That's what uh, makes something that looks like this. And um, so this cycle right here was 19... Uh, 33 well, when Roosevelt took us off the gold standard until 1966. Uh, 64 is when we stopped using silver coins, but I think um, the uh, gold stayed low for another two years. So uh, 33. This, this, that, so that's thir that's 33 years right there. And then this cycle um, was another 34 years. Um, or conversely, we could compare these two lows, 32 to 80. I think it's artificially short because Roosevelt upped the gold price to $35. It probably didn't really hit 35 on a free market until here. So um, and anywhere between 40 and 50 years. Um, but I don't think this cycle is over yet. The reason being that 1980 to 2011, that's only 31 years. And um, if we look at life expectancy in the world, uh, 40 years. That looks very suspiciously similar to um, my chart over here. Um, the, the, the reason it, it's a little bit shorter, I think maybe it's because it's working life as opposed to, uh, to uh, natural life. Uh, but that's even um, uh, but that's even better because people are working longer years nowadays. Uh, so the idea is that um, as people work and retire, it it, it, uh, it aggregates into cycles. But this cycle was only 31 years long, and people in the developing world are living to be 75. So uh, that's why I'm suspicious about uh, that cycle um, being over. Uh, but there's an even more exciting cycle. Uh, read about this, the 500-year East-West cycle. So the idea is that prosperity every 500 years um, moves from the east of the globe to the west and back and forth. So a thousand years ago, uh, we had the Dark Ages. Uh, 1500 years ago, we had the Middle Ages. And then 2000 is now the collapse of the dot-com bubble, the housing bubble, among other things. And uh, I recommend, uh, if you're my age, to uh, to marry somebody uh, outside the U.S., get their citizenship, and get, out, get the fuck out of the United States. Uh, I recommend some of the um, developing uh, Asian countries like the Philippines or Malaysia or um, perhaps Eastern Europe like Poland or uh, uh, maybe even Germany uh, or Ukraine maybe. Uh, that would be my exit strategy. Uh, thanks for watching.